Afternoon, it's Monday 6th of May. I'm only down at uh, the site of the former Brookhouse Colliery. Hey, oh, there's a bloke there waving. Don't know there were a pit here. I'll tell you what, this, this lad's faced me. I don't know if you know him, but his name's Trev. You don't need to know his surname, but. Hey, look. Say, hey, Trevor. Hey, up, Trevor. His father worked here, didn't he? He did. His dad worked here and he's fetched me. I forgot about this bit, to be honest. But it opened in 1929, closed in 1985. That would have been before it's psychology stuff, I'm not sure, but. Just before. 84, 85. We're arguing. 85 anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and in 19, on March the 4th, 1958, I've got on good authority, because Trevor's father might have been on this. Well, he ain't been on chair, had he? But there was another wind on chair, and it went plummeting to bottom, full of men. Luckily, no deaths, plenty of injuries, and I believe one amputee, so. I think there were an amputee, yeah. Uh, we tried to assume we didn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> anyway, they went, they went, they were 400 metres deep, and they went down at Silkston at Thorncl Thorncliffe Seam, and uh, probably average 300,000 tonnes a year with, with about 600 men, so they weren't a big bit, but they were a coking plant. They had a million and a half tonnes out of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. More than that. Uh, well, maybe. They'll have more than that. So, 300,000 tons a year. Four, 60 a year. 63. They had a lot more than that. Anyway, leap mass to me, Trev. He's fished me and now he's trying to tell me how to do my job. You can't fucking make it up, can you? Anyway, look at this. No monument. People of Rock House, hang your heads in shame. To all them who worked here, big up. And to Trev for fetching me here. Thanks, Trev. We're out in here. Up the workers. Up the workers.